Welcome everybody back to the channel, and here's another quick Terraria guide for you guys. This one should be really quick, it shouldn't be too long. You guys probably clicked into this video, probably wondering what, how to get souls. Now, souls are really easy to get into the game when you get into hard mode. They're not really too hard to get other than having to kill lots of, lots of mobs and things that spawn around. So, you will probably end up dying a few times trying to get souls because... Some of them are hard to get, and some of them are not. So we're going to start up with the easiest ones. The easiest ones being Soul of Light and Soul of Night. You guys probably wonder how to get both of those. So we're going to start off with Soul of Night first. So we're going to have to step into my little teleporter here. To get Soul of Night, you got to go underground where the corruption is, or crimson, whatever your world has, whatever you chose. When you guys go pick up a place where, you, where it usually does spawn, I suggest you guys to... Place some water candle down because it's going to help you a lot when you place some water candle down. So you're going to need to kill a lot, and I mean a lot, of cr mobs around. So you need to kill them, you need to kill them. And it, as you guys can tell, Soul of Night has dropped from that corruptor. It drops from, it doesn't just drop from the corruptors, it drops from everything. Got it right there. That's how that drops. Can cut, it can drop from the bat. If you are in the corruption, uh, corrupted area underground, it should spawn for you. As long as you're underground. I have never had souls spawn for me in the surface. I never had them. I just never had them spawn. See, as one died in the lava, it, we got another one there. Uh, we're going over here, killing more. This is why it's good to have... <laughs> this is why it's good to have water candle. There's a lot of things going on. So within the time span of that, we got four. I already had one, so we got three souls. But once you guys just started Terraria hard mode, it's going to be a little bit difficult because you got to kill lots of things. And these things can be tough when you very first make it into hard mode, so just be aware of that. When you guys are in hard mode, you guys should have already defeated Skeletron, so you guys should have plenty of water candles. You guys can also make water candles if you want to. They do help out a lot. They're not necessary. You can also make battle potion too. Same kind of effect, but I'm getting Soul of Nights all really, really like crazily. Crazy, crazy Soul of Nights. And there you go. That's how you guys get Soul of Nights. You gotta go underground, find a corrupted area or a crimson area underground when you hit hard mode. Next on, we're gonna show you guys how to get Soul of Light. Soul of Light is similar to Soul of Night, except you need to go to a hollowed area underground as well. So when you find a hollowed area, You'll find you'll know you found a hollowed area because 90% of the times it's made out of pearl stone, and 90% of the times it's like really colorful. You'll find alum, uh, the alumina, um, illuminate slimes and uh, bats and whatnot. And when you can just kill them, it's pretty much the same thing. You want to just kill them, and then you'll get soul of light, just like that. You want to be underground in the hollowed area and just kill lots of things. Just and it's I mean there's really nothing to it other than just having to kill many 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 you can even set up traps too like you can even set up farms i just didn't have the time to set up a farm i just wanted to show you guys this is a tutorial on how to find soul light so you got to find a hollowed area and if i go to the map you guys can really not see anything but usually on the map it's usually a light gray normal stone is usually a darker color kind of like that and then obviously you know how uh, it's purple right here. So you guys want to be in the purple area for Soul of Night. You want to be in the like the lighter gray area for Soul of Light. And yeah. And you'll get a whole bunch of them if you set up a farm. As you can tell, I already have 11 Soul of Lights. I showed you how to get Soul of Light. Showed you guys how to get Soul of Night. You guys are going to need... Soul of Light we'll get into a bit later. So we have Soul of Might, Sight, and Fright. So if Soul of Might comes from the mechanical worm or the destroyer you have to defeat the destroyer in order to get soul of might and you have to defeat the mechanical boss to get again the soul of might this is the the boss you have to defeat is, is the the destroyer if you guys are wondering and there you go just defeated him and got 34 of soul of uh, soul of might that might be a little bit challenging if you guys just got into hard mode, I suggest to get what you need to get, all the ores you need to get. I do have guides on how to find all the ores and other stuff as well. I'm not going to get into that in this video. I already did. So, that's how you get Soul of Might. Now, how to get Soul of Sight is kind of obvious. You have to defeat the twins. 
The twins are not really hard. What I suggest you to do for the twins is to make a sky runway. It's going to be a lot easier. And don't make them out of solid blocks. Make it out of platforms so you can shoot through the platforms as well. That would make it a lot easier for you. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and spawn them in here. I don't really need too much because they're not that they're not difficult for me. I mean, I could I can probably still die, but I should be careful here. Nothing. Wow. So, just to feed the twins, they turn into um, mechanicals. They're still mechanical, even though because that's they turn into a mechanical a mechanical version of themselves. So, it's they're not hard to defeat again. And here you go, Soul Sight. You get 32, 30, I, you get around 33, 32. I think you get 32 of each, every boss. So, Soul of Sight, there you go. You get it from the twins. Now, Soul of Fright, you could probably already know that it comes from Skeletron Prime. You probably already defeated Skeletron, but this guy's gonna be a little bit more difficult if you don't know what Skeletron Prime is. If you guys are new to the game. So, Skeletron Prime is a mechanical boss. You want to fight him in probably a good area. He's like Skeletron, but a little bit more difficult, it, to say to the least. But he will drop Soul of Fr Fright. This is where you'd want to get the Soul of Fright. I just don't want to die. As you can tell, I have Moon Lord tier items, and I'm still getting hurt from by this guy. So... Just remember, he's not really too... He's not too difficult. Just don't let him get too far. And make an arena by your house. Should be easy to get. He turns into a head. Once you take out his his hands, he should be good. There you go. And it says the jungle grows restless when you defeat all of them. But if I go up here, there should be some soul of fright. Got 36 of that. You get usually 30 of them every time you defeat the bosses. For soul of fright, uh, flight, you want to go up into space this might be a little bit hard for you again harder for you guys to go because i you probably don't have the cosmic car key just build a just go up and build a little platform up here and you'll find the wyverns so soul of flight comes from wyverns it's the dragons that fly up in space there's dragons that fly up into space and they are hard to kill at first in you know early hard mode so be careful you might die a few times so let's go ahead and find some wyverns here i i hope i hope they spawn quickly and here you go this is a wyvern he will sp uh, drop soul of flight so just kill him again it might take him a uh, you a little bit of time because <laughs> it takes it took me a long time when i ever first started you anyway, you'll get roughly 10 i guess roughly 10 it, it, i think it varies it's not always the same but that's how you get soul of flight you go up into space and find the wyverns they they will take a bit of spawn just use water candle water candle will be your best friend when you're trying to make these guys spawn you can make a little platform or if you want you can find floating islands and just make up a little base in the floating islands and it's the same thing you'll find a You'll literally find them. And look at there was one right there and I just killed him. That is the video. Th thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope this guide was very helpful. I'll try to make it as clear as possible. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.